the word or uh, uh, the uh, 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 the counterpart of the substance of what they call the shadow is what makes the vampire the vampire. Now, in Jungian psychology, the shadow is nothing but melanin, the dark night of the soul. So in so many words, they call the Greek word skia and the Latin word umbra, which relationship to the soul, to the shadow. They go on to say that the shadow is what makes the vampire the vampire. They're double talking. That's why they would name melanin the, the Dracula particle, because they're talking about this melanin and this substance that is inside of this particular person that makes this particular person an, an, an immortal. Now, it's interesting because the car is also called the shadow. And based on different levels of the car is how you get your different levels of consciousness. So your different levels of consciousness is called the car, which is the shadow, which is the shadow, which is melanin. Now, when you say, well, what does this got to do with Dracula and dead people? Based on Gerald Massey, they talk about that the car is the leftover substance. Now, this is where it comes in now. The car, to break the mystery, is the leftover substance of the departed or the deceased souls. But the car is inside of us. It says that in one book, the Duke Book of Doors, they talk about there's two gods. One is a dead brother that used to exist, and one represents a brother that exists on the earth plane. So in so many words, what they're saying inside of us is a substance that is a dead substance, and it is the leftover substance of some type of dead entity. Now what do they mean by this? Let me break this down to you. Go back. Remember I said that the Egyptians said that we had 10,000 years of African or uh, Camite history. And after the 10,000 uh, uh, 10, years of Camite history, and they said, well, who used to rule before you all ruled? And they said, a whole bunch of gods. But the gods somewhat like Osiris died or it got entrapped into a physical body. So the substance that is inside of you, which is the shadow, is the leftover substance of the gods that used to live. And that is what your consciousness is. Some of it still dead, like most of them running around. But the ones that illuminate means in actuality you are almost home because you are the God incarnated at this particular time based on this dead substance that the white boy calls Dracula particle. See what I'm saying? So, this substance that is inside of you that is called shadow. is something that is left behind from a pre-existing entity which was your ancestor, which was non-human, or which was divine, or which was this advanced entity. Where did these entities go? These entities now still live within you, and your melanin is the substance of the dead gods. You get it? Which makes you immortal, and the whole Dracula story is talking about that particular substance. Okay? Now, the, the name of the substance that is left behind of the dead gods is not only called Ka, it's also called demon. 
And I've been telling the motherfuckers, you're all so fucking stupid with this bullshit religion that the word demon and the word melanin is the fucking same. And can you can understand why the damn government can give you a religion? Because when you go up in the church and you are scared of demons, you are scared of your own substance, which is melanin. I've been talking about this for years, but we got to break it down in scientific terminology for you. Remember I talked about a few minutes ago about these demon type things in the movie, 28 days taking over the earth, and it was in the blood system. In your blood system is these microscopic elements. I've been talking about this before. We got to break it down. Is demon, damionic substances. I'm talking scientific, but you have let someone come in with this religious bullshit and fuck up your blueprints of your higher levels of scientists, science because you are scared based on your indoctrination. The word Damien, the word, you get the word Amen, which means hidden, hidden substance. You get the word Amen, which is Amen, hidden substance. Then you get the word Damien which is hidden substance, and later on the degraded word demon. Damien, Damien. I've been talking about this for years. We're trying to show you how these things work because I have to explain these things to show you how we activate these things through sex in a few minutes. And for you ones who don't have no partner, we got entities for you. <laughs> now hold on, what's that brother? Yeah. was a black man on a chain. But remember now, the only person who was relevant in the movie that was living, that the, that the, peop the other people that were still living, they was trying to capture a female, which was this black girl, and when she took off her clothes and she had on the LeBron thing, you saw how fine she was. And the white boys were trying to capture her so that they could use her for some type of sexual energy or whatever the deal is. The other little thing was a little white girl that had no titties or nothing, so she was too, too small to screw, about an eight-year-old or something, and had no breastuses and stuff, so she, she didn't qualify. But that's also talking about, see, these things are symbolic. That's also talking about the white woman in general, because although they gave you a little girl, see, they, they, they calculate this stuff. And although she didn't have no breasts, it was symbolic to say, no, she's not of the bloodline. But when they showed that black girl take off her damn clothes, you'd be like, oh, shit. I'm not find it hell. So I was trying to show you that, but here goes again. I'm trying to show you here that we are mixed up and you have been indoctrinated in some stuff. And these earlier terminologies had nothing to do with evil in the particular aspect. And I've been talking about this for years, but this is where the scientific aspect lies. So in so much as the way your behavior is going to have to change when you look at things also too, which we'll get into in a few seconds. You see, in a few seconds. Y'all all right? All right, going on. So um, that's why the movie Blade was so important. But even in that movie, the first one, they showed you him with his woman, and he couldn't defeat the powers that be, not unless he had his woman, and they said his blood was the key. Okay, good. His blood was the key. You see what I'm saying? He couldn't defeat those particular forces and, uh, and all. This is very key on how this particular thing goes down. Now, let's go into some, um, so now, let's go into a little aspect of this particular story that I didn't tell. The goddess Aphrodite of Venus is jealous because the men started worshiping Psyche, who had no control over that. She just was fine as hell. The men started worshiping her, and they neglected Aphrodite's shrine. Aphrodite gets jealous and start raising hell. She says, you better put, stake this woman, take her to a mountain, and we're going to marry her to some monster. As a result, she tells her son Eros, which is the god, which is the god of love. Eros in, 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 uh, uh, Eros in, in, in Greece, Cupid in Rome, Cupid in more, uh, more in Rome, Harpocrates in Egypt, the baby Horus, the baby Jesus in Christendom or Christianity, 
and the baby and and the uh, baby Krishna in Hindu. Now, she tells the God of love to take his born hour and shoot Psyche in the heart so she can fall in love with this monster. He looks, he goes to shoot her with the arrow, the God of love, which is Horus. He looks at her, and when he's about to shoot her, he's so smitten by her beauty till he drops the arrow and hit his foot, and he falls in love with her. So the cut here is that she's in love with the God of love. Now, this is where the story gets interesting here, and this might be a dual role that some of you are going to have to play, you with the men and some of you without the men. I think you might have to play some of these roles on both aspects, not unless you hooked up like me uh, uh, or my girl here where we get both this, this love play thing in one body and stuff like that. So I kind of looked up with this demon lover here. See, when I say these things, you know, that's the highest compliment of the whole book, Demon Lover by Dion Fortune. So I, hook, I, I look up with this, 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 this thing that I got right here and stuff like here and all. But it ain't no picnic when the monster come. I'm going to go in there right now because we get ready to go into some scientific element in a few minutes to let you know that this research that we're dealing with here is a case study and not just from these particular books of, the, uh, of this, but hands-on field work. You see what I'm saying? Out in the field, empirical evidence. Now, to show you how this is done. But going back, he falls in love with her, and he goes to visit her at night, but she can never look upon him. But they have this mass love affair to a certain level. The goddess of love and psyche. And, uh, and psyche. I say that to say that the god of love, because he's a god, that means he must not have a physical body in one aspect of what they're talking about here, because he's not able to look at her at night. It also means that there's an entity that comes and sleeps with her at night. So you sisters and you brothers who don't have a mate, or you are with somebody who just don't razz your tass or ring your tang or flip your burgers or flip, you know, or pan your cakes or whatever. Because you can be with somebody where the energy is this dead. We're, see, we're not talking to, uh, this is not church. We deal in reality here. You can be with somebody, but ain't been with their ass in years. All because you're going by some tradition where you're supposed to bail a long time ago. And because you didn't bail, the energy just goes dormant. You dormant and they're dormant because the polarities don't even matter no more because you're supposed to have been got the hell on. You know, but all based on some finances, all based on some social thing, or what somebody might think, you stay with this fucking asshole. <laughs> all right. Either way, be that as it may, you might have the one that's the love of your life. Some people have that. 